today with this three little pieces here we're gonna make our uh, dump pipe for our west gate so as you know on the 428 if you don't have those um, expensive uh, Exhaust manifolds that are for turbo and put your turbo in a different position You run into a situation like I am right now. So I had a Westgate. This Westgate is was touching here the, Then I need to buy one that was shorter uh, Then it works, but now You have the downpipe uh, I don't want to downpipe is here. I don't want to mess and put my dump pipe with my downpipe right here so I found these uh, three things, right? So first is this little uh, downpipe, uh, dump pipe, right? So it's 38 millimeters. So this guy goes right in here. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot just leave this in here because it's going to dump this hot air uh, into my engine bay. And as you know, you can see on my wall right there, there's a fan that fan melted so because the uh the west gate was pointing to that thing so i found this here um uh, which is galvanized whatever uh it's a flexible tube so this way i want to get one of this i'm gonna get this guy put it inside right just enough and I'm gonna get one of those I could get a, a nice one uh, clamp that I have for my uh, my turbo my intercooler and stuff but I don't think that thing was going to withstand heat as this thing is uh, and I don't want this to get loose all of a sudden and start like heating up my whole engine bay I might think in something uh, in the future like put a gauge in here to, to know how hot my engine bay is just to see if something gets out of the norm I get an alert or something and I know where to look at uh, So we're gonna do this. We're gonna put this in there in the position. I have in there uh, this year We are going to put this ugly clamp part uh, To the inside so we're gonna both tight this first um, And then put it in there but look, as you see here, I can go with this anywhere I want. So, ideally, I'm gonna form this, put down there. Maybe at the end, I'm going to um, weld or ask Jess to weld it for me. One of those, and one of those on my exhaust pipe, which is gonna be something uh, custom made, and then I can just dump in there. First thing here, I'm gonna put this thing in here, because I don't want to undo the whole thing. I'm gonna just slide all the way so I can have space in here uh, now we have this space in here I'm gonna put the link on the descriptions but uh, link on uh, links on the description but this here is actually a joint and crack filler for your exhaust so I believe that this is going to give us a good seal uh, as it gets hot I'm gonna clean this here and I'm gonna put like a, a thick bead around it and there you go so after hot this should kind of dry and make a little seal so actually what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna do like this and push it inside because that's where I want this right and then I can make another bead outside so yeah there you go what I'm gonna do now I'm going to get in here see where it goes so I know it goes like that and I know that this gotta go this way right so I'm going to tighten this up and I'm gonna put it here right below the joint 
electric one impact wrench so why am I using this because this will tie the whole um, circle the whole circumference circumference and um, I don't need to worry about leaks and all that stuff so I'm gonna heat this up uh, with my torch and just to cure a little bit so it's not like on this pace stage uh, and yeah then we're gonna put in the car I don't want to cook the thing all the way. It's going to work the way it is supposed to work when it's down there, but it already got like hard some of it. And um, all right, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get this here. I'm gonna do one lap, and then we're gonna start going down. So guess that's how it works so you got a pair of pliers and do like this That's how we do it, baby. Beautiful. And that's my dump pipe. All right, so I am going to try. I think it's gonna be so much more work. I reached the top in here. It goes down here and this is the, the down pipe so i'm gonna go above the down pipe you see there is a, a space in there and above the down pipe i'm going to go under which uh you see here the oil pan so i'm gonna keep going under and you see this uh i forgot the name of this thing here um dang it's a piece of metal that connects the front uh, to the back of the engine bay uh, so I'm going to tie in there for now but when I have my exhaust done which is going to be here I'm going to ask him to connect that to the exhaust so I end up taking this out uh, because when I tie those those guys here and uh, I couldn't reach this so in order to put this on I need to take it out, connect the dump pipe in here, and then put this on top. But everything is very tight, so I needed to take it out. I'm going to measure the way it is right now, and mark, and then cut. All right, so that's it. Got it down. And I'm gonna file this a little bit. I'm gonna do on top of the trash just so you don't cut. I don't cut myself. And uh, yeah, and then we're just gonna put it in the car. This is what I'm gonna do now. See, it fits perfectly. But I need to have this in hand as I do this like that. <laughs> I need to put that. There you go. Woo! After 10, there he goes. There you go. Look at that. Man. So, down pipe, down pipe, everything is connected. I don't quite like this here. I might change again. Um, yeah, so 
uh, that's good it's very tight tight here tight there I end up uh, putting it on top of the, the uh, downpipe as you see down here and for now it's hanging out here so what I need to do is just uh, put it out there and zip tie somewhere pointing down and zip tie I mean metal zip ties right because otherwise it's gonna burn and uh, that's pretty much it I want to do it after the oil pan but uh yeah I guess we gotta we got the down pipe the dump pipe uh, seems to be pr pretty good all right I hope uh, you enjoy that I it took me a while to find uh, what I needed uh, which was this thing here um, I am not sure yet how it's gonna hold on um, the heat because I mean it's not like the exhaust that it, the heat is there all the time but yeah the heat's gonna be there all the time yeah I think uh, one more thing I need to do and then we should be good to go is I gotta replace the O2 sensor because you can see it's kind of damaged and uh, to right get the exhaust done and then put this in the exhaust so replacing and putting the exhaust but I need to have the exhaust first and then that pretty much would do it I just need to tune the thing and go and go all right so if you are not subscribed to the channel yet consider subscribing it's a lot more to come uh, I still need to wrap and do a bunch of stuff on this car uh, I mean car is nice and everything but it's gonna be much 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 nicer um, I'm building this engine here which is the block is there and this here pistons and it's all in there I'm gonna uh, I'm already I already started gotta be done in two months so in two months I need to finish that put on that BMW that's outside yep can you see that that's my drift car so I need to take that engine out of there build this one put it inside that car buy the adapters put the adapters in there uh, wire everything so I have uh, to April where which is when the drip season starts so subscribe to my channel don't forget to leave that little like button just hit it now now and uh, make a comment if you think that this is gonna hold it's gonna not hold the heat um, let me know let me know what you think let me know if you've done that maybe you've done that uh, yeah See you on the next video. Look past my face. See status. I'm eating some McDonald's.